hey guys welcome back to the channel um let's jump right into the video so as you can see this is my before that i recorded on the wide angle with my phone it had no rhyme or reason it was pretty much just everything that i had moved with plus a bunch of like bulk items so that's what that's looking like it was just like yeah like <laughs> So this is what we were working with before. Um, I must say that I'm pretty pleased with how the after turned out. So this is what the after looks like. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. I love how everything came out. The containers <laughs> were a bit of a splash because your girl likes nice um, containers. Um, it was sort of like an investment for me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So yeah, this is this is what everything is looking like. I almost paid somebody to do this for me, guys. I'm so happy I did it myself. These are the containers I was telling you about. Like you literally just press it and push it down and it closes like there's nothing i hate more than containers that are so freaking hard to close but yeah let's jump into you know what's in every level so the ground level now <laughs> that's where i keep like my kitchen aid my overstock the kitchen aid because it's so heavy guys my kitchen aid is so heavy but i keep like my overstock my produce groceries and um extra seasoning i keep in those little two small baskets there on the second shelf um i keep snacks and shoes for cairo things that i want him to access himself and of course more appliances my can opener my instant pot more kitchenaid accessories my air fryer and my toaster i keep them here because i'm not gonna use my kitchen countertop space of course here more containers i think those containers the clear ones i got from I think Dollarama, I believe, and these white baskets I got from Ikea. No, I didn't know what to use that awkward space. Um, I just put a big chip there. <laughs> but yeah, here I got some snacks, noodles, more snacks, more water crackers, runabuck, nuts, um, coconuts, um, granola bar, you know, all those extra stuff. The other shelf, no, I keep my extra towels, a little liquor for liquor container there for my husband um lots of dry foods here cereal crackers pancake mix everything everything so these containers were man these ghost containers were at least like five hundred dollars and this no this is kind of like my little diy spice rack i didn't find a solution that worked for me just ignore that <laughs> just ignore that but yeah um i ended up just buying some Containers from Dollarama, the Spice, the the suit, latest Lazy Susan from Amazon, and the stickers again from Amazon. Here I have another Lazy Susan, Lazy Susan, with my Macrilamatin products, um, and other yeah, you know, yeah, and of course another Lazy Susan. Here I have my condiments. So here I have like my balsamic vinegar, my soy sauce, my white vinegar, my regular vegetable oil, my hot pepper sauce, ketchup, and honey. So that's where I keep um, my condiments. Another Lazy Susan for easy accessibility. And this is where I keep my coconut milk and macaque soup. Yeah, you can go into any Walmart and get those. And of course, I have my ramen, extra baking products, another random thing in that awkward <laughs> corner there. Um, and some other snacks that I don't necessarily want Carrie to reach, like the hot snacks, you know. So yeah, um, but it's quite a lot of snacks because, you know, kids um, and me and my husband are big kids. So up here now is where those Plastic containers are on the way out. I listed them for someone to pick up. My blender I don't use anymore because I put it all the way up there and some other extra containers for when I'm baking. But yeah, guys, this is, you know, the finished look. I love how everything came out. It looks like something I would see on Pinterest and I am so proud of myself. Now, on to next, my fridge. So my friend suggested I do a little tour for you guys so of course i have my dare products my butter everything 
and you know i have some beverages my lemonade my orange juice and my lychee drink i got those stickers from um what name bed bath and beyond as well and of course here i have my dressing my different dressings my dairy product on the top shelf was like some my yeast and some other baking products that i have bottom shelf there is my condiments i want to like go back up come on chill and go back up so you guys can see what's on my dressing shelf you know we don't know we have a jerk seasoning or jerk spice with chutney rona back oxtail seasoning jerk seasoning yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much um so yeah and in the fridge now so i have a little container of rice and peas come on shalom zoom in for the people them zoom in shalom yes zoom in yeah rice and peas i use basmati rice and gungu peas the brown gungu peas there um but yeah i also picked up some pork buns you know we have to try new things from from costco and this is my leftover shelf i was telling you about that i have there um just some little rat this is just as real as it gets guy my son milk that's all we never drink we am supposed to drink before i'm getting in bed a breakfast container bread container um egg containers more little i like these little containers because it just keeps the fridge organized you know I, there's nothing i hate more than just random things just strain around in the fridge on the shelf you know more vegetables um milk you know you know gotta have the milk i don't remember what's behind that milk i'm gonna go look right now but anyways <laughs> in that brown container those are some mushrooms and this is where i keep my vegetables and my fruits so that's my vegetables there these are my fruits right now my fruits are grapes strawberries avocado and some lime in these shelves i keep drinks so that's some red bull canada dry um and a bunch of coconut water because i love my coconut water the costco kirkland brand is the best one that i found here everything else tastes like trash no my freezer you know um the self-making ice there some little pizza pop for my son more taste bad party <laughs> nuggets and fries and waffles and frozen vegetables frozen fruit and the ice cream that's been in the fridge for at least six months at this point at least six months we don't eat a lot of ice cream um but yeah um in my freezer now you'll find some extra sausages because i don't want them to spoil because costco selling bulk more mixed vegetables a bag of shrimp that something in the fridge pop open yeah but yeah we got those shrimp from costco and that's some good old oxtail that i got from my little meat shop oxtail again because yeah more goat or should i say <laughs> mutton but yeah my husband wrote goat on it because i told him to so yeah um so yeah we have some wings some fish some lot cash well if i said that i freeze i don't know how everything fits um i was digging up trying to find what was there um that's some some lamb rack that's so that i picked up at um at costco what else bro in there more fish um like whole a chicken like back there there's some like grilling steak at the bottom that i wanted to grill um well that's a plan to grill as soon as well outside milk now so i'll be deep i'll be throwing those out and grilling those but yeah that's pretty much what's in my freezer guys it's a whole heap of something but couldn't bother dig it up but honestly did i get lazy i made like a ted i made it wall hurry up and finish edit that video so that i could go to my bed but yeah that's what's in my freezer so that pretty much sums up um my little pantry tour guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you made it this far i want y'all to leave some little random food emojis in the comment section <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.